Hi, I'm about to hang this clock on the wall. My wife made it using epoxy resin and it turned out really beautiful. But I'm not going to show this to you yet. I want you to see the rest of the video. So let's be patient and make it happen. I'll give my wife a hand cutting the clock face. And this is a perfect job for my router. Since this tool might seem exotic for some, let me show you how I set it up. I've chosen the smallest bit to waste the least amount of material. It gets slid up into its slot and secured with a spanner. For jobs like this I don't worry about exact depth measurements. I fix my router in a way to make sure that it will cut all the way through and use the ruler as a stopper. My router has a little guide with a pivot point, which means that I don't need to make a separate jig for cutting circles. I was asked for a clock face with a 50 cm in diameter, so I'll set the distance between the pivot point and the router bit to half of that. I'm cutting the part out of 9mm MDF sheet. Given the size, I think it's a good balance between weight and strength. MDF never cuts cleanly, so I need a light touch with a sandpaper. Finally, I need to make a center hole for the clock mechanism. And this is where I hand it over to my wife. The center bit needs to be placed at this stage, as the resin will glue it to the base. On to the fun part, playing with resin as my wife puts it. So in terms of supplies, she's got a half a liter of two-part epoxy resin, a whole bunch of colors, assorted gravel in the color of her choice, and some gold flakes. She starts by thoroughly mixing the epoxy and the hardener together, for three minutes or so. My wife then chooses to divide the substance into four containers, to mix four different colors. Green is the theme of this clock, so it's mostly shades of this color. Dark green is gonna be the base color, but there's also lighter shades, as well as gold for balance, and even a touch of yellow. We now come to the point where this piece of MDF will be turned into a piece of art. The entire process is fascinating to witness, but it's fairly self-explanatory. So let me shut up for a couple of minutes, turn off the music, and show you the time lapse. My wife went for a particular type of epoxy resin, which allowed enough initial curing time for her to put all the pebbles in. If you're interested, the link's in the description below, along with the links to all the other supplies. Once the final pebble is placed, the clock will need at least 24 hours to fully cure. In the meanwhile, my wife can make herself hour markers. She's using the very pebbles for this. She's coating them in PVA glue before covering them with gold-colored foil. She repeats the process 12 times, and so makes herself 12 hour stones, 4 larger for north, south, east and west positions, and 6 smaller, 
for the rest. The final step is to gently brush away the excess foil, and this can be done once the glue fully dries. Back to the clock. My wife will be adding a second layer for a little 3D effect. In order to make sure that the next layer sticks, she needs to roughen the surface with some sandpaper. She picked up 800 grit this time, but it doesn't really matter. Next, she's using an IPA solvent to make sure to remove any possible dust or grease before pouring the new layer. This time it's mostly transparent, but you'll see a little bit of green as well. As I mentioned, it will help with the 3D effect, but also mask some of the gold color, which is a little too prominent for my wife's liking after the first pour. This new layer will also hold the hour markers in place, and since they're gold in color, they'll stand out better with this added green. And now it's another 24 hours before the epoxy resin fully cures. And once that's done, my wife is covering the edge with gold paper, much like the hour markers. She's gluing the foil, and once dry, takes the excess off. After this, it's a good time to add a hook for hanging the clock on the wall. I picked out this sort of hanger, which will do nicely. Next, the clocking mechanism can go into its place, where it's secured with a tiny nut. And finally, my wife is able to add the hands to the clock, which completes the project. My wife is so much more artistic than I am, so it always fascinates me when she comes up with something like this, both the idea and execution. If you liked it too, there is another of her projects on the channel which you can check out by following the link in the description. Also, leave a like, she'll be ecstatic to learn that you enjoyed her clock. And of course, consider subscribing if you want to see more. Thanks for watching.